No punches behind the back of the head. Good luck to both of you. Back to your corners. The way people see Matisse is vulnerable. Well, when Herrera has those that type of calf, uh, has that type of a build. Matisse in only his second fight at welterweight chance they have putting their money on the upsets. Right. But no question, as you look at them, we know to see him. He's not as crisp as we see him at 140. There's the range finding, and finally, Hiram throws the right hand. Big shot over top of the jab. Hiram threw 27 jabs in round one. The jab was good enough. That unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman, scoring on uh, uh, with his own eyes, that the way he brings the jab back. He has a jab and a straight right hand. Nothing when he jabs, he's stepping back with that right foot, and that's what's saving him from the right hand counter right now. Now, Matisse will figure it out soon, but right now, that's what's saving him. Say, step back with that right foot. Yep. That body shot might have hurt him, too. And there's a right hand shot by Matisse, and now Karam sticks the jab. He says deliberation as to whether to counter. And it's easy to see why a judge. He had no amateur boxing matches. Very calm for a guy with no amateur experience. Highly limited toolbox, but he's not even worried about it. And that's really strange. Monstrous puncher and was more of a compact fighter. If he chooses to throw to knock you out with, he can do. Karan does not have that luxury. Tise is starting to find the range. But that jab is still causing him a problem, Max. Yep. But, it, but it, now his punches are starting to land a little more cleanly. And quickly to follow Kiram. At, from, excuse me, his left eye, I think it is. It must be from Kiram's Kiram, yeah. right hand. You would think because he's throwing a lot of them, but it's on the side that, that, that you, the right hand's more likely to land. I ain't seen him land a right hand this year. <laughs> <laughs> right eye to swell shut with his left hook. And with that right hand, he just threw that max. There's no way that could produce a mouth. Good yeah, body you know shot. What? Matisse. Matisse. At Matisse, which almost automatically tells you that he's feeling the punches now. So far in the fight, CompuBox overall numbers are almost dead even. Harold Letterman, how do you have it scored through the first three? I'll catch him. I got a 29-28, two rounds to one, Lucas Matisse. He rounds punches. He throws a oh. lot of nice jabs, but, you know, but I don't think it's doing any damage. On the other hand, Matisse, when he, when he lands, he hurts you. To land his first big right hand and then seem to draw blood from Matisse. The head was turned. <laughs> but I know what's right on point. Yeah. Oh, good right hand. Another good right hand by Tewa Karan. Those picking the upset question that. How Coming more assertive in the fight, moving forward, throwing his jab. Combination by Matisse. Agreed. Not to fight is dangerous, but... And the crowd is beginning to sing. And I have to believe the singing in the crowd comes from Argentine sports fans, Argentine soccer fans, who are in the competition. We go to round five. Matisse was actually creating. Let's see what happens, you know? To knock him out to the head, but test his body first. Yeah, I'm not sure he's going to knock out a naturally larger man with that winging right hand. That one got rid of a lot of 140 pounders. Yeah, if this were somebody other than Lucas Matisse in there, this is pretty good. But they expected a lot more. Tonight. I don't know what it is with him, but he and Matisse seems to shelve the jab and these kind of boxing moves that he that he takes out against the shorter pressure fighters. Yeah, but Max, we know what we see with punches, Chris Sharp punches. I don't see the Chris Sharp punches. That. That's what I'm talking about. Lucas Matisse has not yet figured out how to hurt him or land combinations in such a way as to put him in a defensive or compromising position. Middle of the ring, not holding, not awkwardly moving around and negating the act. Really right with him tonight. I don't know if he got old tonight or what happened. But well, that's the question. The old Lucas Matisse. I don't think that's the case necessarily, but it could be. And a lot of times this happens in preparation. When you prepare. A lot of fans may wonder how that happens. But Stop. boxing training is cumulative. You're giving up a little bit every day if you train that way. That's exactly right. Professional background against top fighters, so he doesn't have 
the tools to play defense in close. Who knows? It may or may not be a substance that's listed among banned substance by the California State Athletic Commission. You know, Jim, he's not fighting a great fight. Max said he wouldn't call it a stinking fight, but I would. Uh, Timo Kiram is out punching him, landing that jab constantly. But the question is, as a judge, you got to determine who's doing more damage. You are seeing punches landed on both sides. If two more skilled fighters produce. Problem being, Max, you got a very skillful fighter in there with a guy who's not so skillful. Maybe he can land one of those bombs and produce something. I don't know, but I don't really see it because... Knockouts have a way of making everyone forget what led to them. That's why I say I hope we can get one of those. Crowd begins to register booze. 52 out of 229. Yuram, 49 out of 257. That's just low. Throwing one punch at a time, not throwing three or four to get him to escape every time. I don't see many Matisse punches with authority. Nope. You know, we told the audience he's one of the hardest punchers in boxing. They wouldn't know it to see this. Although there's a left hand that lands, and down goes Yuram. Matisse hurt Kiram with a left hook. Let's see if he can finish him now and put an end to what has been a dreadful fight. Not dreadful right now. The and fire back rather than running and holding. And now Matisse gets him with a right hand. Three. That was not a, that was a phantom right hand. That was a phantom right hand. And now this is this is over. Raul Caiz has stopped the fight. And officials are rolling into the ring as Lucas Matisse sits atop the corner post and celebrates a knockout win. I said a right hand, no, it's a left. All right, let's see if I miscalled the knockdown punch. There's knockdown number one. And it was clear the left hand did most of the damage there. Yeah, the left hand did most of the damage there. But here, the left hand did a little bit of damage. Still knocked down one. Yeah, okay, yes. Knocked down one. The left hand did put him down. And it's the left. The left again. And he's still, uh, he's still up here, then he just goes after the right hand. Amazing. That's not a knock. Look, that's why look. I thought it was the right hand. Yeah, Sometimes exactly. there's delayed reaction knockdown. That is the biggest delay I have ever exactly. seen. Exactly. I've never seen a delay that long. <laughs> it was so delayed that it's reasonable to question whether Karam was looking for a place to fall down at that moment. My goodness.